before I start, I just want to say that I've been told to tell you guys that the strike tomorrow has been cancelled and we're all going to go into school as usual. Only joking, that was a lie. And in fact, 81% of us say a harmless lie every day. So I was in class. My friends, they were all around me and we were all doing our work together. But then, I smell something. First, it smells tolerable. But then, it comes closer and closer and it follows me. Oh yes, my friends, that girl, she has passed weight. <laughs> and I look around, trying to catch the guilty culprit. And there's that one girl who won't hold my gaze. Bright as a tomato, we all know she did it. But then she never owns up. And in fact, she blamed me. As you can imagine, I asked to move seats next time I had that. But the three most common lies that are told on a day-to-day -day basis are, number one, hey Charlotte, how are you? I'm fine. I am absolutely fine. There is nothing wrong with me. Number two, I'm, I'm really sorry, miss. I, I have done my homework, I promise. It's just my print is broken and I had to leave it at home. And number three, the big one, Santa Claus. <laughs> we all have our own stories. For me, I was 10, woke up on Christmas Eve, saw my mother standing at my stocking, trying to stuff the presents in as quickly as she possibly could. Wrecked my childhood. <laughs> but small eyes, they're pretty harmless, aren't they? And in fact, when we get them right, we feel pretty good about ourselves. They've all gotten us out of sticky situations. However, big lies, they add up. For example, we all know the supermarket Iceland. I love the lasagnas, especially that lovely beef. Until I found out they had put horse meat in it. I was eating horse meat. When I found out, I decided I was never going to shop there again. That was their consequence. They don't make any money off of me. I'm only one person. But when that all adds up, it's a lot of money that they're losing. So next time, when you're sitting in class and your friend just passed a little bit of wind, you tell her, be loud and proud, because honesty is the best policy.